Hello everyone, in this video I will be solving Cambridge IGCSC ICT paper 3 for the year May June 2023. This is paper 3 1 and I will be solving the web page task. The spreadsheet has already been done and uploaded. You can find the link in the description. We are doing task 3 web page now. You are working as a part of the team of web developers at Tevera Web and have been asked to create parts of a web page for a client. Step 12. Create CSS to be added to an external style sheet to meet the specifications. So some specifications are given for the CSS. We have to do this. So I am using the software Microsoft Expression Web. We need a CSS. So go to File, New. CSS. So you get a dot CSS file here. Set the font for h1, h2 and h3 and the paragraph style so that the browser selects and displays the font Calibri. If not available the font Helvetica new and if these are not available the default sans serif font. So we need to set the styles for h1, h2, h3 and p which is the paragraph style. So let's start with a new style. Click on new style. We need to give the style names here separated by comma h1, h2, h3, comma p. p stands for the paragraph style. The phone family is Calibri. If not available, Helvetica new if not available sans serif. So these phone names has to be given in order. So Calibri, comma, Helvetica new, comma, sans serif. So this is the required settings we have to give. Now give OK. Place a copy of your CSS in your evidence document. Only this we have to do in the style sheet. So we need to take a screenshot of this code. So let's take the screenshot. and this needs to be placed in the evidence document. So this is our evidence document. It is step 12 evidence. So let's paste it there. So this is the required evidence. Next, create all the head section of a web page to meet these specifications. Title for the web page is weather data. So we need a web page or an HTML page to do this. So I already have an HTML page here or you can open from file new HTML page. Now we need to set the title for the web page as weather data. So right click page properties. You can see the title here. So the title should be set as weather data. Give OK. So you can see the code here in the head section the title is set as weather data. Next, set the character encoding to ISO 88591. So we need to set the encoding here. You can either type the code here in this way using meta tag, meta, then character set equal to, and then you can specify the character set. Otherwise you can go to the design and do it from the page properties. Right click page properties and then you click on language, the encoding language. Click on language and then here you can see 
HTML encoding go to save the document as check for the standard uni but 88591 is not given so just select this give ok now if you check the code you can see the meta tag here and it is given as ISO 88592 just change it to 1 so that's done next set the name of the author to Tavara web followed by a space then your name so right click page properties now author is a user defined data you can go to custom and here you see user variables click on add and then the name of the property is author so give author and the value of author is given as Tavara web followed by a space then your name so type Tavara web then a space then your name your name should be replaced with your name give ok so if you check the code you can see meta content so the content is Tavara web followed by your name and the name is author so this is how you have to give this can be also typed as the inside the HTML code Next we have set the web page description to weather data for the Tavera region. So go to the page properties again. You can see the page description here. So you can give weather data for the Tavera region. Make sure the data is typed accurately weather data for the Tavera region give ok and if you check the code you can see the page description this way next set the viewport to the width of the device being used with an initial scaling of 2 now viewport is the uh, visible area of the web page to the user on which device they are viewing the web page so here they have asked you to set the viewport to the width of the device being used that means if you the device width should be set of uh, the width of the page should be set to the device width so uh, on whichever device they are viewing the web page it will be displayed accordingly so that property is known as viewport so here they have asked you to set the width to the uh, width of the device being used and the initial scale to 2 so let's do it from the design view again right click page properties so whichever is not available here you can go to the custom and then let's add a new one so the name of the property is viewport and the value to be added is the width the device uh, width should be set the width should be set as the device width so just give width equal to device width there should be no space separate device width by hyphen comma the scale initial scale initial scale equal to so width device width equal to device width and the initial scale equal to two each property should be separated by comma give ok and then ok here so you can check the code the meta content is given as the width device width equal to device width initial scale equal to two and the name of the property is viewport next one set two appropriate meta tag keywords for use by search engines for this web page we need to set the keywords so let's go to the design view right click page properties 
you can see keywords option here you need to mention any uh, keywords which is related to this web page so I will give weather comma Tavera okay now click on code you can see the metadata for the keywords so the name of the property is keyword and the content is weather and Tavara whatever keyword you give here set the default target window to blank if a new page is open from within this web page so right click again go to page properties you can see default target frame here click on this and we need a new window which is set as blank so it is blank here give ok and ok so the code is shown here place a copy of your HTML source in your evidence document so you can see all the meta tags the title and the default target frame is set here under the head section so this is the required code so let's take a uh, copy of this or you can take a screenshot of this so I'll copy and then paste it in the evidence document step 13 evidence so this is the required code for the metadata task 4 is printing the evidence document you have to print the evidence document so this is the end of the web page task thank you for now